chance for Borussia, and it's Bender who scores. Decent cross, and it's an own goal by Sven Bender. It's the equaliser. On match day 18, Borussia Dortmund's Sven Bender did the improbable and scored twice in a game, once in the opposition's net and once in his own. A day of pleasure and pain. He's not alone in doing this, so here are 10 other top players to have scored at both ends in one game. Number 10 is the current world star, Arturo Vidal. All a bit of a scramble for his OG against Hamburg for Bayer Leverkusen, but the replay shows the current Juventus man got his knee to the corner and sent it goal-bound. Thankfully, he went up the other end in the same game to save a little face. Another corner and another scramble. This time, it went in at the right end and Leverkusen went on to win 4-2. Number nine comes from a current sporting director, Hertha Berlin's Michel Pritz. He was a handy player as his well-taken goal proved against Bayern Munich in February 1998. The opening goal and his joy clear to see. And why not? Straight through the legs of Oliver Kahn. No wonder he was happy, but his smile was wiped straight off of his face when his striker's instinct got the better of him. Some people just can't help themselves when presented with a goal-scoring opportunity but thankfully Hertha did go on to win. The next on the list currently plies his trade with Kaiserslautern, but it was for Hanover 96 that Mohamedou Idrisou did the goal-scoring double. In October 2002, he must have been over the moon to have scored his first ever Bundesliga goal against Energie Cottbus. What an achievement! But he went from hero to zero and looped in an own goal to make it 2-1 to the visitors. Hands on his head, a lesson learned about sending forwards to do a defender's job. Our next entrant is famous for once scoring a phantom goal, but also for a beauty of an own goal against Stuttgart in 1992, Thomas Helmer. He had all the time in the world to see the corner, but it still caught him off guard. His second half reply, however, was no surprise. Boy, didn't he mean that one. But still, Dortmund went on to lose. Some players just get really confused, especially Per Mertesacker against Bayern Munich in January 2011. Great feat for a big man. Well, this is a good opportunity though here now for Werner Bremen to come into this game and he get it as well. Just into the second half of Per Mertesacker. Looking like a striker, the big defender makes it Werder Bremen 1 of Bayern Munich 0. But having displayed his talents as a forward, he completely forgot to do the job he was actually paid for. Oh, and it's gone in with an own goal! How unfortunate do you get the hero down to zero? Per Mertesacker, who got the opening goal, scores the second goal in the wrong net. It seems that Werder Bremen players have made a habit of doing this down the years. Milan Krestaric's fall from grace was even bigger, having scored this stunning free kick against Hansa Rostock. A goal certainly worthy of one of our top ten great goal videos, and his own goal was pretty good as well. Rostock's Ronnie Mal was right not to celebrate, because Krestaric had belted it in. No wonder he was disappointed, it was his very last goal for Werder. Next up, Naldo as a fox in the box. And again, it's in! Whoa! No doubt about that one, that's Naldo! The header was from Pizarro, it came down at an angle and Naldo whacked it home! 1-0 Werder Bremen! And having opened up the scoring for his own side, he really made an effort to level up the scores. Oh, Naldo has put through his own goal on 75 minutes. Naldo, who opened the scoring for Bremen on 51, on 75 minutes, puts through his own goal. 
Into the top three with Michel Balak, El Capitano. Another glancing header for the collection and one of two own goals in his illustrious Bundesliga career. But having handed Hertha Berlin the lead, Balak responded with the last of a six-goal Bayern Munich salvo. And what a way to make up for his earlier mistake. The finish wasn't bad either, and a much better way to close out his scoring account for his first season at Bayern. From one legend to another, Tony Polster was a football god in Cologne in 1994. He'd scored 17 goals in his first season at Essen FC Köln and was well on the way to doing the same when he opened the scoring against Karlsruhe in October of that year. So all was good when he whacked in number two from the penalty spot. What could go wrong? His third of the afternoon went, yes, you guessed it, into his own net. To make matters worse, Polster's Billy Goats went on to lose 4-3. Ouch. At number one is the Bundesliga's joint top own goal scorer of all time, the Kolchanovski of Mainz. A total of six own goals, and he hasn't just scored at both ends once, oh no. But it was all looking rosy when he and Mainz faced Kaiserslautern in May 2005. Noveski rose like a salmon to head his team into a 3-1 lead during the last home game of the season. But in the dying moments of the match, he pulled one back for the opposition. He held off his man well before laying the ball into the back of the net. To do it once, OK, but to do it twice, that's something else. And that's exactly what he did the following November. Eintracht Frankfurt celebrated but it was the own goal getter extraordinaire Noveski who bundled the ball in. That was on three minutes and in a derby, but it got worse. A second own goal three minutes later. Not even Mainz coach Jürgen Klopp could believe what he was seeing. A disastrous day for the defender. But having put Mainz two down, he rallied the troops for the fight back and finally got something to celebrate. And it wasn't in vain either, Mainz went on to draw two all. When it comes to scoring at both ends, Nikol Czernoveski is king. Sign up now for the Bundesliga YouTube channel. Here. 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 <laughs>